Hey guys, so this is Asher 2 and today we're with the Shanghai Lego bootleg Riddler's Graxter and Mimi Quinjet. And yeah, here are boxes. And today I reviewed the two sets, but yeah, they are in the same, like the same set because you know they are on SY209 and so is this, but this is B and this is D. And yeah, I I previously reviewed A and C, so you know you can check it out if you want to in my channel. But yeah, this set comes with 80 pieces and comes this set comes with 117 which are like very small pieces really Just not really much but yeah here are front of boxes top side and the other side bottom and finally the back of the boxes and yeah, it doesn't really show you the features. It just show you one extra photo, I suppose. And yeah, this is a little bit weird. Is it? It really say haha? Which, which I don't know. But yeah, this is hot. I don't know. It's so weird packaging. So for the instructions, it's just pretty normal paper instructions. Um, yeah. So, you know, just really just some um, normal instructions that you get normally from Shenyon or something like that. So, first off, for main figure, this is Nick Fury in his jumpsuit. And, yeah, as you can see, his face is a little bit more different here. And, yeah, the not face, the printing on his face. Not the printing. Oh, I keep saying that, but yeah, the color, the back color here, but yeah, he is in his cool jumpsuit, and yeah, it's pretty cool, I suppose, too, you know, uh, it's nice to get another Nick Fury main figure, so, you know, this is a pretty great, great person. Next up, this is... Willer and yeah, as you can see, he's in his more different version, which is always great that you know you get another version of these mini figures because Lego only makes one version of Riller, I believe. And yeah, this looks more better than the the first one or the one that Lego makes, yeah, you know, which I'm taking here, but yeah, this is the one that Lego makes, and yeah, as you can see, the question mark on his helmet is a little bit more bigger than the old one but yeah this is also string but you know they always copy accurately not always but yeah you know he, he, his tie is pretty cool and his background does have a big question mark and yeah that's cool so great figure first for our build is the mini heli carrier so you know I do not think this is based off the Marvel superheroes game, the Lego Marvel superheroes game, because like of how the design is, the Lego Marvel superheroes game that that actually they actually it that that is actually uh, like a big turning wheel all over on the right side of the head carrier, depending on where I'm looking. But yeah, this is a little bit more different if. And if the game's heli carrier, mini heli carrier, came out, it probably got more than 119. And yeah, let me just check the instructions if I'm building wrong. But yeah, here we got the stick, uh, stick, the control, the control thingy, and you can just put here and then just clip him. In, I suppose if I could. Alright, so you know, he could just clip in, and 
EI, you know, you got the side engines, which are printed pieces, not stickers, which is definitely great about bootlegs. And back here, you got the engines. Um, you know, here, I don't know why they put the, the, the translucent stuff there. And let's see, I'm building wrong. All right. Yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing's wrong. I thought it was just a little bit wrong, but yeah, there's nothing actually really happened. But yeah, back here you got the like the the main place as opposed to you know the the upper deck, and yeah, this is a lower deck, and um, you know you got some pretty cool runways, and yeah, if you can, you could just make this into a a micro, not a micro, this is a, a nano scale shield helicarrier. So, you know, if you want to make some quinjets, then you can take some studs, I suppose. Um, I don't have studs right now. Um, let's just take an orange stud. Yeah, an orange stud. Let's just pretend this is a jet or something. And yeah, it is small enough. A stud is small enough, but yeah, it's just a stud. But I don't know. But you know, you could make this into a nano skill um shoot jet shoot helicarrier. If you can't, I don't know if this is nano or micro. But under here it does not have any control bit the control bridge and yeah you can also remove the side turbines and yeah you know this this is pretty much it but yeah here it doesn't really connect real well you know to the technic piece but it's okay you know if you don't if you don't touch it then it's alright so yeah let's go on to the next build so this is Riddler's Dragster, I suppose, to and maybe maybe his sports or F1 racer, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it does roll in wheels, and here you got the you know front here you got the front there it just F1 design, and here you got the printed piece a roller piece, pretty cool, and here you got big um vent or engine I don't know uh, and yeah back here you got steering wheel you know some pretty good design you know it, it just continues to here I suppose and here um yeah I I believe this is like engine vents or something but yeah this is not really not really stable at all and um yeah there is I just removed the figure from the base but yeah there is a fire on the back, but yeah, it sort of broke. It it only left one. Yeah, it, it does have the fire on the back, but um, yeah, this is sort of a problem. You know, we just broke off. This what happens when you bite so many bullets and the quality control is uh, very bad. Uh, but yeah guys, let's just stop that, but you know, here you, you can fit Riddler and yeah, let me just put him here, alright, here and you can lean him down, if I could, because it's very loose, and yeah, the photo sucks a little bit, and you know, I don't know, but yeah, here, the back here looks very plain actually. Except for fire, the fire is the best part. But really, if you just like, this is not official Lego, and if you just like, just tear it apart, and yeah, it will really tear it apart. And back here, we got the big spoiler, but yeah, they could have added a grill piece here, but I don't know what this is based off, really. But you know, quite a cool car for Wheeler if you don't have. The real crackster, so yeah, pretty cool. So, overall, I really like these, and yeah, they are pretty great. And except for 
for a little bit of the quality control but yeah other than that guys it's just it is very good I really like this and you know if you if you can't get the the law the real Graxer the realist Graxer then you can get this one and yeah plus it uh, it also has the printer piece and also the mini hand carrier looks very cool and you know it's you know just a hand carrier they got and, but yeah the printer pieces are pretty useful I like it and the figures are okay but yeah other than that guys I recommend this set and yeah if you want to buy these sets then yeah I'll put a buy link to AliExpress in the description box below along my Facebook page and also my second channel so uh, yeah make sure to check out those up but other than that guys I'll be seeing you very soon